Quality of Service, or QoS, not only optimizes network traffic in order to improve the user experience, but also manages network resources by setting priorities for specific types of data. This can be effectively used for internet bandwidth optimization. We'll talk about how to set up internet bandwidth management using QoS on the RV340 router on this edition of Tech Talks, next. We'll start by logging into the router and heading to the QoS tab. We'll be restricting internet bandwidth for specific users on the default native VLAN, which is VLAN 1. We can also use a different VLAN to segregate the users for whom we want bandwidth restricted. We'll click on the Add button under the Traffic table to use a new traffic class. We can enter the name and description of the traffic class we want to use. For this example, we'll name it WAN. To specify the service details for this traffic class, we'll click on the Add button under the Service table and enter the following details. Enter VLAN 1 network under the Source IP field along with the subnet mask. In the Surface Application drop-down list, we'll choose the service we want to use for this traffic class and then click Apply. Now we will be configuring traffic class for VLAN 1. Click on Add under the Traffic table and enter the class name and description for VLAN 1. In order to specify the service details for this traffic class, click on the Add button under the Service table and enter the following details. In the Destination IP field, choose the default network of VLAN 1 and the subnet mask. After this, we'll click on Apply. The traffic class will not show in use until it's being used for QoS queuing. Next, we'll navigate to the WAN queuing option under QoS from the menu. We'll select Rate Control as the queuing engine. Next, we'll create a new WAN queuing policy from the WAN queuing table by clicking on the Add button. For this example, Rate VLAN 1. Under the queuing rate control table, we'll choose the WAN traffic class and choose the minimum and maximum rate for the traffic class. After this, we'll click Apply. We'll now navigate to WAN policing under the QoS tab. We can enable WAN policing and apply the maximum rate for VLAN 1 traffic class. For this example, we're using the maximum rate at 50%. We'll apply this and navigate to WAN bandwidth management under the QoS tab. Here, we'll choose the newly created outbound policy for the WAN ports whose bandwidth we want to limit. For this example, we're limiting the bandwidth for both the WAN ports. We'll click on Apply to save changes. And that's all you need to do to configure WAN bandwidth management on your RV340 router. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.